हेलो स्टूडेंट गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे आई एम कंटिन्यूइंग फ्रॉम द लास्ट क्लास लास्ट क्लास आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इंटरनल एनर्जी इनर इंटरनल एनर्जी एज ए स्टेट फंक्शन इन दैट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द वर्क वर्क दैट इज वर्क डन बाय द सिस्टम वर्क डन ऑन द सिस्टम and also i discuss the state function now i am going to discuss that is the about the heat heat because it will also affect the internal energy just like work work uh, work affect the internal energy like that way heat also heat also affect the internal energy then now i am going to discuss about the heat we can also change the internal internal energy of a system by transfer of heat from the surrounding to the system or vice versa without expenditure of work this is important without expenditure of work we can transfer of heat from the surrounding to the system or vice versa without expenditure of work this exchange of energy which is a result of temperature difference is called heat that is a denoted by q this exchange of energy listen carefully this exchange of energy which is a result of temperature difference temperature difference is called heat it is denoted by a small q let us consider bringing about the same change in temperature that is the same initial and final state as before okay what we have considered last class like same way that uh, let us consider the bringing about the same change in temperature means the same initial and final state by this change how will you bring then uh, this same initial and final state how we will bring then by transfer of heat through thermally conducting walls through thermally conducting walls in stead of adiabatic walls Adi adiabatic wall means it will not allow q neither heat can come neither heat can go that is adiabatic but here we are conducting thermally conducting thermally conducting walls means which can allow we take water we take water at temperature a temperature t a in a in a container having thermally conducting walls t or t1 whatever you can tell you can tell we take water at temperature t1 <coughs> or t a anything you can tell <coughs> at a temperature t a in a container having thermally conducting walls से मेड अप ऑफ कॉपर एंड कॉपर एंड इनक्लोज इट इन ए ह्यूज हीट रिजर्वर एट टेम्परेचर टी वी टी वी और टी टू देन द हीट एब्जॉर्ड बाय द सिस्टम द हीट एब्जॉर्ड बाय द सिस्टम सिंपली जस्ट लाइक यू कैन टेल यू यू आर कीपिंग वन कंटेनर in the other container which is hot which is hot that simple then uh, first container that temperature was t1 now we are keeping in the container which is warm hot and their temperature is suppose tb or t2 okay t1 t2 like that you can tell then the heat absorbed by the system means water in that container water you have kept the heat absorbed by the system 
that is the q heat absorbed that is the q can be measured in terms of temperature difference that is the tv minus ta in this case change in internal is the change in internal energy that is the delta u delta u is equal to q when no work is done at constant volume volume was not changed volume was constant only temperature changed from ta to tb then tb minus ta that is that is actually change in internal energy that is a delta u delta u the delta u means change in, in internal energy equal to change in internal energy equal to tv minus ta the q that is equal to q that delta delta u that is a change in internal energy that is equal to q means this is the heat gain heat gain q the q is positive when heat is transferred from the surrounding to the system q is positive when heat is transferred from surrounding to the system and q is negative when heat is transferred from system to surrounding because that is the loss loss of the system means minus gain of the system means plus this you keep in mind because q plus plus q or minus q is meaningful okay now i am going to discuss general case because we have discussed in case of work now i discuss in case of heat now third things we are going to discuss the general case let us consider the general case in which a change of a state is brought about both by both by doing work doing work and by transfer of heat now both you are considering work and heat first i told you for work after that i told about the heat now we are considering both work and heat then we we can write or we write the change of change in internal energy due to work and due to heat then how we can write due to both due to work and due to heat then that will be change in energy means delta u that is equal to q plus w q means heat w means work done then due to the work done and due to the heat whatever total change is there in in internal energy that is the delta u due to work done and due to the heat change heat change total gain in total gain in internal energy is don't add the both then that is the delta u that is equal to delta u is equal to q plus w and here i want to tell you this actually this is called first law of thermodynamics mathematically it is called first law of thermo dynamics and here here we can tell the energy of an isolated system the energy of an isolated system is constant it is commonly stated as the law of conservation of energy law of conservation of energy that is the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed only transformation can take place from one form to the other form okay it can't be created it can't be destroyed destroyed this is the called the conservation of law of conservation of energy that is the energy can neither be created nor be destroyed this is the first law of thermodynamics most important very very important very very important always it in examination it is asked and from the concept of point of view also it is important 
मैथमेटिकली आई टोल यू डेल्टा यू इज कल टू क्यू प्लस डब्लू फॉर ए गिवन चेंज इन ए स्टेट क्यू एंड डब्लू वेन ए गिवन चेंज वेन ए गिवन चेंज इन ए स्टेट क्यू एंड डब्लू कैन वेरी डिपेंडिंग ऑन हाउ द चेंज इज कैरिड आउट हाईवर क्यू प्लस डब्लू दैट इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा यू विल डिपेंड ओनली ऑन द इनिशियल एंड फाइनल स्टेट ऑलरेडी आई टोल यू इट विल बी इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द वे द चेंज इज कैरिड आउट इफ देर इज ए नो ट्रांसफर ऑफ इनर्जी इफ देर इज ए नो ट्रांसफर ऑफ इनर्जी एज हीट और एज ए वर्क देन इट इज द केस ऑफ आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम इन आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम वाट विल एपर नो ट्रांसफर ऑफ मैटर नो ट्रांसफर ऑफ इनर्जी मास एंड इनर्जी बोथ कांट बी ट्रांसफर देन इट इज इट इज कॉल्ड आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम देन वेन क्यू इज कल टू जीरो एंड डब्ल्यू इज कल टू जीरो इट मीन्स दैट सिस्टम इज आइटो आइसोलेटेड सिस्टम देन इन दैट केस डब्ल्यू इज कल टू जीरो एंड क्यू इज कल टू जीरो देन डेल्टा यू इज कल टू जीरो नो चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी द क्वान्टिटी और यू कैन से दिस इक्वेशन आई टोल्ड यू डेल्टा यू इज कल टू क्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू दिस इज ए मैथमेटिकली ए स्टेटमेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स ऑलरेडी आई हैव टोल्ड यू नाउ आई आई एम गिविंग यू सम प्रॉब्लम आई विल टेल सम प्रॉब्लम मीन्स न्यूमेरिकल टाइप्स देन यू कैन थिंक एन आंसर देन योर कंसेप्ट विल बी वेरी क्लियर ओके देन टू थ्री आर देयर जस्ट यू थिंक देन यू विल थिंक वेदर यू हैव अंडरस्टूड और नॉट नाउ थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर स्मॉल स्मॉल प्रॉब्लम्स आर देयर बट फुल ऑफ कंसेप्ट ओनली ऑन दिस बेसिस इन आई आई टी क्वेश्चन दे कैन आस्क ओके इज ए फुल ऑफ कंसेप्ट देन फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम इज देयर और एग्जा यू हैव टू टेल अबाउट द दिस थिंग्स सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम by considering the concept what i have taught you first is that actually you have expressed the change in internal energy of a system you have to express the change in internal energy means delta u of a system three condition i am telling you first condition no heat is absorbed no heat is absorbed by the system from the surroundings what but work is done means w is done on the system on the system what type of wall does the system have what type of wall does the system have think and think and then you can answer no heat is absorbed means q is equal to zero no heat is absorbed by the system from the surrounding it means q is equal to zero but work means w is done on the system work is done on the system means just like a compression then it means w is there w is there then uh, this uh, uh, um, this you can tell delta u may be due to both then there is no heat ch- exchanged no heat exchanged means q is equal to zero then formula is there delta u is equal to q plus w then q is equal to zero plus w has been done work has been done on the system means plus plus okay then what what type of wall does the system have then now first internal energy delta is equal to w and because heat has not gone outside 
neither gone outside nor came from the outside means from the system heat has not given to surrounding from surrounding heat has not come q is equal to 0 that's why del formula was there delta u that is equal to q plus w then here q is equal to 0 but w is there plus w because work was done on the system on then its answer is very clear delta u is equal to means change in internal energy is only due to work done that is the delta u is equal to w ad adiabatic wall is adiabatic that's why it has not allowed in uh, internal energy uh, this uh, heat to go outside or come inside then wall is adiabatic very conceptual now second second uh, you can see no work is done on the system no work is done on the system okay but q amount of heat is taken out from the system and given to the surrounding what type of wall does the system have again it is very interesting no work is done on the system means work is not done w is equal to zero w is equal to zero no work has is done okay no work is done on the system but q amount of heat is taken out q went outside outside means minus q okay went outside from the system it means q bend minus q and given to the surrounding then what type of wall does the surrounding have then again very interesting here w is equal to zero formula is there formula you know always remember that delta u is equal to w plus q then here w is equal to zero when q went outside means minus q then now delta it is a loss for internal energy delta u is equal to minus q and because heat went outside then what type of wall was there then thermally conducting walls okay now third you can see uh, third w amount of work is done by the system by the system means expansion uh, by the system means work has been done by the system means you are talking about first listen full question then w amount of work is done by the system and q amount of heat is supplied to the system what type of system would it be this is a third again it is very interesting w amount of work is done work is done by the system means expansion then minus w it is a loss minus w uh, by the system and q amount of heat is supplied to the system to the system and from the outside q has come means now uh, gain q has given to system means plus q plus q then what type of system would be then now you can see delta u uh, delta u is equal to w plus q then here w is minus w w amount of work is done by the system means gone case means w became minus w minus w and after that q has been given surrounding has given q to system means q is gain q is gain plus q plus q then delta is equal to due to w it will come minus w because it expansion work has been done by hence minus w and heat has come hence plus q plus q then total q is equal to what total q is equal to q minus w plus q minus w that is the uh, closed system system is closed okay system is 
closed then here uh, this w amount of work is done by the system and q amount of heat is supplied to the system then what type of system would be it then uh, first uh, delta is equal to q plus q plus minus w means minus w q minus w that is the closed system okay and this i have told you three uh, three can say problem i have given you and i solved also you have might have understood now i am stopping only here again next class i will come with other terms okay thank you